welcome again to channel 48 i'm here now with the samsung galaxy s10 because uh yeah i'm running android 12 really it's uh, really really nice not everything works so good yet uh but i can do almost yeah i can do the same things uh that i'm doing on my s9 that is as well running android 12 remember it only here on channel 48 you will find android 12 for your s9 and your s10 even though google cannot find it if you type in google uh, uh, uh android 12 samsung s10 or s9 does not find anything you know you must put channel 48 behind it and then suddenly google finds so i think the search engine is as well not working too good there at google so google please fix it anyway i'm going to show you how to make uh, a pixel 5 uh, uh phone from your samsung galaxy s10 and it works really nice uh, you will lose each and everything on the phone you will need to data format the phone you as well need to be on the latest firmware that you can get from samsung link will be in the description to samfw.com uh, where you can i just had some bread where you can get the latest build uh, for your uh, samsung galaxy s then the beyond one lte uh, i'm not sure if this as well works on uh, the other models of um of the s10 but one thing i know it works on my s10 and as well on my s9 after doing some little trick remember as i said you will need to data format uh, your phone so you're gonna lose everything on it so start copying all the files that you have on the phone and that you want to keep to some place on your computer you can always copy them back um i disabled the play store and installed uh installed aurora store the play services are still running on the background so i can install applications that in fact require google services to be installed however um i installed my own browser the via browser as you can see so let me put you on the tripod and let me show you what you're gonna get and let's go ahead and install it welcome back so what will you get you will get a uh, yeah uh, effect a pixel room that uh, looks like this and uh, yeah you won't, you won't have no camera and so i installed open camera i installed the nova launcher in fact i should show you the pixel launcher but you will see that it looks just like this but uh, the nova launcher is a little bit more um yeah you can put the weather in here it's also nice you see so um I'm gonna show you how to install it. Remember that, um, let me see, you must be on the latest twerp. Okay, so get the latest twerp uh, from twerp.me and install it. Okay, so, uh, you must be on the latest firmware for the Samsung. You see, it's saying Pixel 5. I have no SIM card, but the same works. We have IME address here you can see july 5th security patched um google play system update august the 1st 2021 and a big credit goes to the nippon team of course and ervan for his amazing tool so these uh, gsis can be created i could not find no uh, full screen gestures yet uh, but uh, yeah that's not that important to me okay um, for the rest i'm using this to listen to music and to browse a bit the internet and i'm gonna install even more applications i have a pack of applications that work on on this uh, on this device so i will share that link as well again with you okay these are 11 applications a transistor radio uh, the aurora store the via browser vlc a file file explorer open camera nova launcher and effect uh, yeah for those that want the retro clock or the weather app you can as well install that they, they work so i'm trying to discover how many apps 
actually work uh, about the google play store uh, i'm not sure if it's working in my previous build it was not working uh, it could work in this build uh, i will leave you to uh, test that yourself okay so let's go ahead and let me show you how to install it uh one more thing i must tell you um if you're gonna install this gsi okay it could be that you will as well need another kernel and i'm gonna show that all in the in the installing part so let's put this phone into a download mode and let's go ahead and flash the gsi now this will become a brand new android 12 phone so what we're gonna do is we're gonna format data and we're gonna make sure that we are on the latest bfu firmware for the samsung galaxy s10 don't forget to back up your files first and then after formatting data and you reboot it back into recovery we copy the files that we need to the phone okay though welcome back all files are copied to the phone so there we are we can install a gsi now we're gonna install an image and we're gonna install the pixel 5 image to the system partition now what i'm gonna do is a straight up install because i in fact already uh, installed my medicine before okay and i think yeah it's still it's still there okay so i'm just gonna uh, flash the gsi and then i'm just gonna reboot reboot back to the system it will say no os installed don't worry about it okay here confirm and in a couple of seconds it will start booting and you will see the boot animation from google takes a second hold on be patient and there we go it's booting yeah well and um this is the pixel 5 gsi i as well tested the 4 and uh, the 3 and in fact you need you need the extra kernel well i'm not even sure at this point uh, because my system boots up in one go after installing the gsi okay but i had lineage os official running on this firmware on this phone before okay so um yeah for me it installed in one go but it could be that you need a kernel so that's why i will as well include the kernel because the first time when i installed this i needed that kernel okay and uh i think that is the medicine uh, but first install the way i did format data okay before installing the gsi and then install the gsi to the system partition and then simply uh, boot up the phone if it does not boot if it hangs in the google pixel uh, then you need that uh, that kernel and the kernel the trick for this installing is called thunderstorm s kernel for the s10 the note 10 and they are out there in two versions in the one ui version and in the aosp version and you need the aosp version okay everything will work okay wi-fi works sound works uh, uh phone works as you could see the ime was showing just now from this phone and uh, everything in fact works only certain applications will not work okay they will kind of act strange and and yeah i don't know so again uh, i'm using the applications that i uh, as well used in android uh, 12 for the samsung galaxy s9 i as well showed showed you that video showed you how to install it we as well used the trick with another kernel to get uh, to the home screen and 
up to the day of today uh, the phone is still on android 12 so in fact my s9 and s10 are both running android 12 because uh, i'm not doing too much with them and uh, i think if you uh, want a good daily rom uh, for this phone uh, you can take a look at c android or you can look at lineage os 18.1 official okay it will install straight up i tested it i had it running before uh, this operating system as you could see when we rebooted the phone it was not uh yeah it was in fact showing the windows 11 uh, windows <laughs> it was showing the android 11 shutdown uh the sign that while uh, i showed you the android 12 before that footage so it was kind of a little bit confusing but we went back into time and uh, i still had this shot so that's why you know i wanted to show this installing that went in one go but um yeah you could uh you could as well uh uh check it out if you need that kernel or if you don't need it okay i did not use multi disabler as you could see was not needed um yeah it, it it's just, yeah, it just installed straight up peeps so uh, i'm gonna leave you uh, with your thoughts uh, this as well works phone works um only i have no sim card installed so i cannot really show it but a challenge to you to go and test it yourself if you have the s10 if you have any problems with uh unlocking the bootloader get back to me and then i will make a, a quick uh tutorial how to you know unlock the bootloader how to get into a download mode these things are all kind of different on the s10 uh, but i'm kind of happy peeps uh um yeah I'm, I'm listening to music and i'm yeah i'm just playing with the with the phone a bit testing it installed open camera etc it all works fine this operating system is really cool you can block several things you can block the phone from using the camera block it from using the microphone so maybe that will you know um yeah make some users even more happy uh, thanks to these privacy uh yeah options that you have in uh, android 12 so a big thumbs up to google that is not finding my android 12 videos for the samsung galaxy s10 so maybe you all should uh, do some searches uh, on google for you know android 12 for samsung galaxy s10 because we already have it here on channel 48 but that is of course with thanks to uh, our friends from nippen and nat natuurlijk not to forget ervan uh, Ervan's tools or Ervan, yeah, Ervan is studying. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he finished his study and he's now working uh, as uh, in some hospital or so. I don't know what he's doing, but he's a medical student. So, yeah, big up, big up to Ervan and uh, respect to all of you there at Nippon that are creating these GSIs one after the other. And I'm checking them out, really. I'm as well hoping to find something for the Samsung Galaxy S8. But yeah, none of the A partitioned uh, treble ROMs are working for now for me, peeps. But I keep trying. If you find a good one, let me know. Then we can, you know, give it to the people. But this is it for now. Uh, Android 12. Yeah, beautiful uh, for your Samsung Galaxy S10. And we're going to go uh, in a recovery mode really fast so I can show you. Uh, the tools that you might need okay you might need these uh, tools and uh, uh, yeah big thumbs up as well uh, to the thunderstorm uh, yeah, team yeah thanks to them you know i i managed to 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 boot uh, this the first time and i think that kernel is still running on the phone but i'm not sure because i wiped data formatted data i don't know if it you know if it's still there but i think it's still there if you did not install another kernel only kernel that i yeah only rom that i installed after that was lineage os so maybe you know i don't know everything but for me it works okay out of the box i did not have to install any kernel after flashing the rom as you could see or the gsi it, it booted straight up into the desktop and uh, i want you to try it first without a kernel and if it's not booting for you then i want you to flash the kernel as well the aosp kernel from uh yeah the thunderstorm team you know and check it out and see you know if you 
if you manage to install it i think the pixel 3 you can st install straight up uh but uh, i had some issues with that with with that uh, gsi not sure um I'm gonna try it again how it works now you know maybe it works even better Be because yeah the first time when i installed it um in fact wi-fi was not working and so so yeah i think that the formatting of the data it kind of helped and yeah yeah i don't know it's it's just amazing i have no words for it to to see uh, android 12 running so nice and as well being the first video here on youtube showing it anyway ladies and gentlemen this was it for the s10 now you know how to install android 12 on the samsung galaxy s10 it works uh, very nice i'm gonna play with it now finally so we're gonna play with it together in a working state because it has wi-fi now and in fact i was when i would you know um, uh, present you the this installation video the the, the the downside would be you know that wi-fi was not working and that there was no sound but in some way do we have sound i never checked if we have sound let's check out if we can play some music i'm gonna install aurora store in here let me see if this thing works yes uh and downloads no not downloads but music where's music 23 megabyte there we go I installed Android 12. Hey! <laughs> I started singing and the thing didn't like that. Hey, so. Okay, so we need some fixes. I'm gonna install my own applications on here. And the first will be Aurora Store. So I'm gonna come back with another video about Android 12 on this phone, but then uh, the applications that you should use if you want to use this device on Android 12. So the sound works. I'm happy to hear at least something playing. I think that VLC will fix uh, most of the codecs for this thing. So yeah, uh, will be good to play with this weekend. So uh, good luck with the Samsung Galaxy S10. I want to thank Lineage OS for the amazing development. Of course, I want to thank Nippon uh, and the Airphone, Airfan as well for the tool. Um, and I want to uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you appreciate this video. And now you know how to install Android 12 as well on your Samsung Galaxy S10.